Caleb, say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I have a special guest with me today. My little baby, Caleb. Yes. We will be showing them. Yes. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I make his baby food. So Caleb is currently six months. You know, if your baby's older, you can probably add more foods to the menu that I'm gonna show you guys. But the doctor told me that you should introduce only one food at a time and then just wait three days, three to four days, to see if your baby doesn't have any uh, food reactions or food allergies. So let's get to some baby making. No, let's not do that. Let's get to some baby food making. All right guys, so I started Caleb on solids when he was four months old. I had talked to the doctor many times and he said that that would, that would be okay if the baby showed signs that he was ready to eat solids. So basically the baby had to be able to sit upright whenever supported and show interest in baby food. So if you guys are starting your baby on solids, then this is the menu that I would suggest. You can start with sweet potatoes and then maybe after three four days noticing that there are no food allergies then you can go into maybe sweet potatoes and apple sweet potatoes and butternut squash this right here is so gentle on the stomach and amazing recipe so now i'm going to show you guys the three day menu that i will have for him keep in mind this is for a baby that's six months old or older uh, my doctor told me not to feed him meat until six months old but you always want to check with your doctor first and always go with the doctor's recommendation. For Monday, let's say who we'll have chicken breast, butternut squash, apples, and sweet potatoes. This is by far his favorite recipe of the entire week. And I try to buy everything organic. Um, you guys don't have to, but I do recommend it. So that way there's no pesticides or anything nasty, you know, in your baby's food. Then for Tuesday, we will have butternut squash, sweet potatoes, malanga, which is like a Hispanic, kind of like sweet potato and a potato. I don't know how to say it, but the name will be like Coco John with taro. Then he will have organic turkey and avocados. Then for Wednesday, let's say he will have malanga again, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, some green beans, broccoli, organic chicken breast again. He will also have some apples and some carrots you guys can switch it up and put another fruit if you guys want to or another vegetable and just you know keep swishing it up now just keep in mind that always feed him one food at a time and then see if there's any allergies and then if there is not after like three four days and you can continue on to changing it up to another vegetable um caleb has had all these foods already so this is why i feel comfortable fitting this to him also, this is only a menu for three days a week. So the other days, you know, your baby doesn't have to eat meat every day. So I would just give him just, you know, the vegetables and the fruits and just keep his nutrition balanced. You want to make sure that your baby's plate looks full of colors and rich nutrition every day of the week. Notice how there is sweet potatoes in every plate. Sweet potatoes are considered to be a baby superfood. And I highly recommend you guys to feed your baby sweet potatoes. It has almost everything your baby needs. Now I'm gonna boil all the vegetables together with the skin because it provides added nutrition and then we're gonna use that water later. Now that I'm giving him meat, I like to cut a small piece of garlic for added flavor and drop it in the water as that water is boiling. If I'm not giving him meat, I won't do this at all. You can boil the vegetables like sweet potatoes and squash until you can pinch the fork through them and they're super soft. And then once I do that, I like to take the skin off because the skin uh, can be harder to digest, but it provides added nutrition to the water and we will use that water to make the puree later. Now that I have taken all of the skin off, I'm gonna be putting the vegetables in the container and then I'm gonna be using that water that is packed with minerals and vitamins. You really wanna use that water, you don't wanna use any other water because that water is full of nutrition for your baby. Once the water is about that level, 
Then I'm just gonna put the cap on and just put it in the blender and blend it. And here it is. You kind of want to have like a consistency like that. And it's so yummy. It smells so good. I like to use a bottle for his puree because that way I can measure how much he's eating. And sweet potato does stain, so the only thing that I will say is that if you're feeding your baby sweet potato, everything is gonna be stained. If you're using a bottle like I do, it's gonna be stained. Even his pacifier is stained from the sweet potato. <laughs> Guys, when I'm cooking the broccoli, green beans, and carrots, I do steam them instead of boiling them because that way you can keep the most nutrients that way. I still like to boil the sweet potatoes and other you know, vegetables because that way I can use that water to puree everything together. <laughs> Look how he's waiting just patiently for his food. Yeah. Are you waiting for mommy? Are you waiting for mommy? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got big teeth. <laughs> I remember I love you. I love you. So I hope you guys like the video. There is nothing better for your baby, in my opinion, than having his baby food made at home, you know, fresh, made with love, you know, every ingredient that he has. No matter if it's organic or not, you know, store-bought foods are always gonna have ingredients that you don't want. You don't even know what they put on those. Um, completely, you know. <laughs> There's nothing better than knowing that your baby is getting the best nutrition that he can get. So, we're gonna say bye now. Yay! So bye everybody, I'll see you guys on my next video. See you later.